Welcome back to another Scribus tutorial. In this video, we're finally going to make a real uh, document. We're actually going to do something real, okay? In the last videos, uh, we've been just learning a lot, and maybe it's been tedious a little bit, but I really want to get a lot of those basics under your belt before we start doing some of this. So we're going to be learning the tool, Align and Distribute, um, how to use that. We're going to be learning a little, a little bit about snapping and grids, and we'll be working with pictures. Uh, no text in this one, just pictures and shapes. So the first thing we're going to do is do a single page document, just 8.5 by 11 is fine. Oh no, let's make it, let's change the orientation to landscape though, so it's like wider than it is tall. So now we have a nice page here, and what I want to do is create a photo, uh, like a photo collage kind of. So I want to have some different pictures, so I'll grab a picture frame, and we'll just draw some of these. And since we're going to print this out, we can actually print it, the method will print, I think we can print right to the edge of the page on this, so we can just ignore the margin. But we're going to grab a couple different, let's do this. Let's say we want to have, let's do one big picture in the middle. And then let's have some out towards the sides. So uh, one thing to do when, we, when we're drawing these, if we select and we hold down the control key, it'll actually draw a uniform. So the width and the height will be equal while we're holding down the control key. If I, uh, if I take off the control key, then it uh, let, lets us do kind of a, a different shape. But if we hold the control, it stays square. So I want to create a complete square, maybe about right here. And then we'll drag it to the top left here. Uh, maybe we'll make it a little bit bigger. So I can hold down the control key while I resize and make it a little bit bigger. Perfect. And I'm going to take and delete this one. So I want, actually, let's hold down the control key and make it a little bit smaller. I want to make four of these. So I'll take this one, and I'll go Control-C, and then Control-V. So I've created a copy of it. I'll go Control-V and paste another copy here and control V and paste another copy. So just so you know, whenever you copy something and paste, you can copy something like from one page and go to another page, it'll always pa uh, paste it in the exact same location that it was copied from, even if it's on the same page, which is what was happening there. Okay, great, so now we have these. If we wanna select two of them at once, we can left click and then hit the, hold the shift key and select another one, and we have both of these selected. Then we can kind of resize them out this way at once. Um, actually, I'm going to hit Control-Z because I want to resize all four of these at the same time. So now we'll just resize them all width-wise a little bit like this. Then I'll grab these two by holding the Shift key and clicking them both, and we'll just move them both over here. Okay, that looks about all right. So what I'm going to do is put different pictures in each of these, so just to get started. And I'm going to have a picture in the middle. We're going to change the shape of these. Um, oh, and actually, I forgot. I was going to teach you align and distribute, and I've been not. I've been doing it a different way. So with align and distribute, first let's get our pictures in. So we go get image. I'm just going to do a couple of images here. They're going to be way bigger than this frame. So I'm going to go adjust uh, image to frame for now. I'll go get image. I'll just grab a few different ones. Ooh, that one's actually too small. And we'll do this for the last one. Perfect. So a couple of these. This one definitely will go adjust image to frame. Oops, control Z. I did adjust frame to image on accident. Perfect. And then to, I'm going to right click and go to properties so we can bring up our properties. And you know, whatever image we click on, it'll change the, the properties for that image will just stay in here. Uh, so let's, let's first of all, let's fit this, let's fit all of our pictures to our image frames first of all. So first thing we're going to do is come to our image, and it's, right now we're on to fit to frame, because that's what I told it to do. This one's going to be different. This one's going to be free scaling. So this one we do want to kind of scale up a little bit, and while these uh, are connected, they're going to scale uniformly, which is what we want. So it scales like this. If we unclick this button, they're going to scale um, non-uniformly, which is not what we want to do. So let's do scale uniformly, and let's scale this up a little bit so it fills the whole frame. That's nice. And then we can set the location of the image uh, right here, the X and Y position. So we want this to be maybe 0 0.5, oops, in the negative, mm, or 0 0.3 maybe. Put that about right there. Or we can always just right click and then drag this around to where we want it. So I'll just put it right there. I mean, right click, we can double left click to do that. That's what I did. Uh, and it looks like it's not quite perfect right there. So this one, we want to do the same thing. I'll come down here to my image. I'll go to free scaling, and I'll just scale it up a little bit so we get a nice shot there. I'll double click, and we can move this to 
so we can see the fish and everything perfect and then this one will do the same thing we come down free scaling we'll zoom in and that's probably good maybe even we'll get really close with this one and we'll double click and just drag and move this picture here and then with this one we want to do we can just scale it down I suppose but we'll still want to keep it about like that let's put this one in the middle actually let's uh, I'm gonna go control C control V we'll put this we'll put a copy of this so if you notice when I copied it it actually copied the image frame and the image that's in it which is kind of cool and all the settings we had applied to it so that's kind of nice now let's make this round. What if we want to make this a round uh, circle? To do that, we can just go to shape and we can give it some rounded corners. Can we or can we not? Hmm. Maybe I lied to you. Let me minimize all these things here so I'm not confused. All right, shape and then our rounded corners here. Maybe we can't. Let's go to edit and see if it let us edit it. So we can edit this. Oh, oh, yeah, we can't give it. Okay, we can't do rounded corners on an image. Um, what we'd have to do, if we want to do this, let's delete this. So let's say we want rounded corners on our image. First, we draw a shape. So we select our shape tool. We left click and drag and we draw our shape. But if we right click, we can't get an image in here because it's not an image frame. But we can give it rounded corners. So we give it, make the rounded corners be one on this uh, or make it be, I guess we want to go all the way up to make it sort of round. And then We'll move that to here, and then we can go to uh, item and go convert to image frame. Now this is an image frame. Now if we go to get image, we can grab that same image and put it in here, and now it's going to be fit to this circle. See how that works? So we go to image, uh, we'll scale it down a little bit, and now we have a round image here, and then the rest of them are all going there. So we can do the same thing if we wanted to, like if we wanted to make this a star. And we can come over, we can kind of do it manually by going to shape, where's that shape at? Shape and then edit. And we can actually edit the different nodes of this to create like sort of a, a thing like this is kind of cool to do sometimes. So we could grab, uh, we could do that and then we could grab this one for example. I think I lied guys, I think I'm not gonna be able, to, I'm gonna hit the escape key and get out. I don't think we're going to be able to do a, f a finished video here. Uh, but let's do this. Let's double click and move this over to here like that. And I'll show you why. Because we're going to go to shape on this. And we'll edit this one. And then we can kind of create. So for our collage, sometimes these things are kind of cool to do, right? We can move that to right there. And then, then we can, uh, we don't want to resize that, I don't think. No, because that puts our angle off. Instead, we want to go to shape and edit and move these nodes around like this. So that's kind of cool, huh? So we can create some different shapes like that. Um, yeah, so we're not going to do a line and distribute in this video at all. I lied. We're going to do that in the next video. In this video, we just learned how to kind of create, uh, let's hit escape. I got to escape out of that so we can drag this one in. So we're just learning in this one how to uh, edit these shapes and convert shapes into uh, image frames. So the last thing I want to show you, so that's kind of what we've done there, is I want to show you if we grab an image frame, uh, I mean if we grab a shape, I'm sorry, hit escape a couple times, grab, a, let's do like a star shape. So we come in, we go to edit, we give it five points and make it a star like this. So we can actually come to take this star, we can't put a picture in it right now, if we right click there's no option to get image, but while it's selected we go to uh, item, convert to image frame, and now we can put an image in there. So now we can right click and go get image, and we can actually find an image here like this, and we can sort of fit it to that, adjust image to frame, and so now we can put our image in there, and then we can zoom in on it. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. So that's pretty cool. This is how we can create our own custom, just like we did in the last video, we created custom text frames, but we can do the same thing with image frames. And you can do it to create a collage of pictures. So I, does, I'm, I apologize for kind of misleading you. <laughs> We're, we didn't create a finished product here. We're like not even halfway through a product, but I don't want to get super long into this video. So maybe in the future we'll do this as a full one, but hopefully you kind of get the idea of how to create these different, have your picture, uh, 
go to a different shape by converting a shape to an image frame. Appreciate you watching this video and uh, hope you enjoyed it and learned something and I'll catch you on the next one.